Hey everyone, welcome to the first episode of Where the Sidewalk Ends, conversations about where the academic uh, rubber meets the road of reality. Uh, you might be wondering why I'm sitting here on the floor of my office, uh, listening to calming music, uh, seemingly meditating. Uh, I'm going to get into that in just a second, but before I do, let me get off the ground here because it's actually not comfortable. Okay, that's better. Yeah, crisscross applesauce is not as comfortable as it was back when I was much younger. Um, all right, so why am I practicing meditating? Uh, well, today, uh, one of the conversations I want to have uh, is about writing program administration. Uh, and I promise you, there is a there's a connection here between the sitting still uh, and WPA, uh, and that connection comes in the form of an interview that I had with a standing WPA that I did as part of my coursework for uh, my writing program administration course uh, at Texas Tech University. Um, so I was lucky enough to get to interview Dr. Heather Lettner Rust, who is a standing uh, writing program administrator at Longwood University uh, in Virginia. Now, I asked to uh, interview Dr. Lettner Rust on purpose uh, because she works at an institution that is very similar uh, in mission and scope to uh, the small liberal arts university where I work. So she had the opportunity to offer me a lot of uh, insights into uh, some situations that are probably very similar, uh, not one to one, but that, that there's a uh, there's a good crossover between Longwood uh, and, and St. Edward. Part of what I focused on in the interview was trying to get pull some advice out of her. But there was a, a lot of insight that I got from Dr. Letner Rust uh, out of our 30 minute conversation, uh, but I really want to boil it down into uh, to two main points here that I think uh, are important for young WPAs to um, think about and to try and take on as, as we move into uh, a very tenuous and a very difficult uh, profession. So the first piece of advice that she gave me uh, or the biggest piece of advice that she gave me, I should say, uh, was just two very simple words, uh, and I've already said them, uh, but it's just sit still. You know, that's that that sounds very simple, but it's actually uh, pretty packed, and, it, and, and it's pretty important, uh, and it's equally uh, as difficult to actually achieve. The reason that sitting still, uh, I think, is so difficult is because uh, as a WPA, uh, especially a young writing program administrator, you often are in a position that is uh, a untenured, uh, and, and thus you are on very shaky uh, professional ground. Uh, you hold a perceived position of uh, authority, but there's really not a whole lot of weight behind it, especially with that tenure. And I'm not making up this this untenured, untenable, shaky reality that a lot of WPAs simply have to deal with. Uh, if we go to the CWPA website and we look at their statement on evaluating the intellectual work of writing program administrators, we can see it right here, uh, clean as day in the language that they use, uh, that quite often WPAs do work in an untenured, shaky position uh, within the university. So this is a reality that we just simply have to deal with. So we have these two competing forces here, right? Uh, on the one hand, you don't really have a whole lot of authority. There's not a whole lot of position. You're not in a real big position of power, uh, especially as a young WP without tenure. But on the other hand, you have this pressure to perform, that, to, to, to make it appear as though you're contributing to uh, the program, right? And so a young WPA is gonna wanna come in and make lots of changes. Uh, and perhaps, and quite often, a lot of the changes are probably good changes. Uh, you know, uh, as the as the scholarship in the field advances, uh, our practice needs to advance as well. But the, the the tricky aspect here is that change isn't a, a fast process. And here's a really good example of how change has to come incrementally and has to come slowly. Right before Dr. Letner Russ got to be the WPA at Longwood University. Uh, in the nine years before she was officially named the WPA, they had gone through six people in that position, right? And all of them effectively fail at the job because either they tried to make change too quick and people wouldn't listen to them uh, and resented that and resisted that change, or they said um, 
they they didn't want to be change makers and because of that they were in effect they were perceived as ineffectual and so they were pushed on down the road right you guys you guys taste that Ah, the irony, right? The, the 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 palatable irony of having to come in and be somebody who does make change, but coming into an environment that is resistant to change. So, big piece of advice number one, sit still. Now, for the second piece of advice, uh, that Dr. Letner Rust uh, gave me, the other, the other big picture item, I'm going to need to, unfortunately, get back down on the floor. So bear with me a second. So the second big picture piece of advice that Dr. Letner Rust had, and I'm going to try and perform this visually for you, so bear with me. It's been a while since I did this. But intellectually, academically, socially, as a WPA, you have to be flexible. Uh, okay, I can't do this upside down. Okay, reset. Oh, I think I hurt my back. Oh no. No, no. I'm okay. All right, I'm back. So, again, two, two very simple words, right? Be flexible. Uh, because as a WPA, especially at a, at a writing program administrator at a uh, smaller institution, you're going to have to wear lots of hats. You're going to have to be lots of things to lots of people. When you really think about it, a, a writing program is, yes, it is the, the, the ideology and the theory that you are implementing in your classroom and, and the way you approach writing, but writing, a writing program is also made up of the people that populate the program, right? So it's both abstract and concrete. And as a WPA, you necessarily have to be flexible enough to, again, meet people where they are. So if uh, I was trying to boil down Dr. Letner Russ's uh, interview or, or uh, there, a one little tagline from her interview, I suppose it would probably be this, okay? So as a WPA, your job is to, yes, push the monologue a little bit, right? But in addition to pushing the monologue uh, and, and moving a program to changes it, you would like to see have happen at that program or that you'd like to see happen at that program uh, as a WPA you have to also allow things to come it's pretty solid advice I think uh, pretty conceptually deep actually uh, and so four words sit still be flexible thanks for tuning in everyone to the initial episode of where the sidewalk ends until next time, everyone, be well. In the meantime, I'm going to go practice meditating and sitting still. Thanks, everyone. Bye.